Hi, hello and welcome back. In this video, we are going to see about the daily aptitude day 20 solution. So in this video, particularly I have chosen the essential logical reasoning questions. So three questions I have selected. We are going to discuss those three questions. So last video, that is the daily aptitude day 19 solution. I have solved about the essential aptitude questions. Since essential exam is coming on February 7 to February 10, I am solving the questions of essential so that it will be useful for many of the students. Also, today's daily programming is based on essential programming question only. So if you want to see those daily programming, the link will be in description. That is the app link will be in description. You can download our app and see what is the programming question they have asked. Also, I have added the premium material for essential aptitude questions with solution so that you can purchase it from the premium materials of our app. So if you want to download our app, the link will be in description. So if you are new to this channel and have not subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. So let's get into today's topic. So the first question what we are going to see is from the concept of coding and decoding. So let's first see the question. In a certain code, machines is written as M S I I S N O S. How was online written in that code? So this is the question they have given. So they are saying that machines is written as this one type of code. What will be the code for online in the same pattern they are asking. So first we will analyze what is the pattern they have followed in solving this machines. So if you see means M is in the same position and S is in the same position. So the starting and ending letters are in the same position. So we can do like that itself for online also. Then the coming to the uh, middle parts. So if you see means I and S are interchange, uh, this S and I are interchange, O and N are interchange. So in the middle part of the letters that is the characters, two, two characters are being interchanged. So N and L are to be interchange and I and N are to be interchange. So if you interchange with, so this will be your answer for this question. So now let's see the second question. So second question and third question are related to a particular concept called seating arrangement. So first we will solve the second question and then we will continuously go to the third question. So what the question they have given is P, Q, R, S, T, U and V are sitting around a circular table facing the center. R is next to the left of U and V is second to the left of R. P is sitting third to the left of T. Q is between S and T. So this is the question what they have given. Now let's see how we are going to solve this. So they are sitting around a circular table facing the center. So seven people are there. So now let's see the first point. R is next to the left of U. So they are saying R is next to the left of U. Suppose if U is seated here means uh, left of U is this side. So R will be seated here. So first point is satisfying. And V is second to the left of R. So V is second to the left of us. So R is being sitting here. Left side means this side. So second to the left means at this position. So V is seated here. And the next point is P is sitting third to the left of T. So P and T we have not mentioned it anywhere here. So let's come uh, last because we are, don't know what is the exact position. So first we will fill all those exact position which is correct. And after that we will come to the other points. And the last point what they have given is Q is between S and T. So Q is between S and T means Q cannot be seated here because it should be between S and T. So Q should actually be sitting here. So Q will be here. S and T can be varied from any position. So first we will assume S is here and T is here and check whether third point is satisfying with this combination. So P is sitting to the third, third to the left of T. So T is here. So T's left side is this side. So one, two, three. So Third point is also satisfying. So this is the seating arrangement with respect to the given points what they have mentioned. Now let's see the second question. So this is the arrangement with respect to the points what they have mentioned. Now let's see the second question what they have mentioned. Which one of the following is false? They are asking which of the following statements is false from the four given options. So first we will go one by one. P is four to the right of T. So P is sitting whether 4 to the right of T. So T is here. So T's right side is this one. So 1, 2, 3 and 4. So the first option is correct because P is 4 to the right of T. Then B, uh, second option what they are saying is U is to the immediate right of R. So U is to the immediate right of R. Yes, this is also right. And third option is U is 
third to the right of s so s is where here is s whether s is third to the uh, whether u is third to the right of s so s is here third to the right of uh, s means 1 2 3 so the third option is not satisfying because it is the false statement so for the second question third option is the correct answer now let's see the third question what they have given so third question what they have given is which of the following is true so they have given four statements out of this four statement we have to identify which statement is correct according to the seating arrangement so the first option is r is fourth to the right of t so r is fourth to the right of t 1 2 3 4 no it is not satisfying uh, s is second to the left of t so t left is uh, this side so 1 2 no this is also uh, wrong p is to the immediate right of v so p is to the immediate right of v yes so this condition is satisfying so third option is the correct answer so i hope you like this video if you like this video please share it with your friends and also in our channel we will be posting the essential questions that is the pseudo code questions or aptitude and logical reasoning all those questions will be posted in my uh, channel so to follow those videos please subscribe to my channel and click on the notification button so see you in the next video until then stay tuned signing off from you bye take care